Un, dos, tres, cuatro, dos, tres, cuatro. So here I am waiting for my plane to arrive while I look around to see what else I can do for that moment, which wasn't long until I had to get in line, grab my tickets, and start aborting into this plane. So recently, the news broke that the LeBaron family have gotten killed by the Mexican cartels that took place somewhere within this month of that time and that everyone has been warned to stay away from that area which I can see why people would be concerned about me going on this trip however that's not where I'm going to be heading as this tragic event took place on the north part of Mexico I'm heading south and where most of the pyramids as well as the main tourist locations will be located at. So this is where the adventure begins. After I spend the night with some family members and then looking around, watching the buildings, crossing a few roads here and there, taking a few detours and pretty much the surroundings of this city and looking around and watching as there are both old and new buildings bunched up together gives me to the conclusion that Mexico City is basically a tropical New York with ADHD. This is Landrider 7, aka LR7, land here. Before going to the museum, I decided to go check out what else is going on out here, which appears to be some traditional dance taking place. So I'm going to go around, check out what they do, show you guys how they look like, and then we'll move on to the next part. Right after he explains this here. Ah, entonces los, los cinco se suben por, se suben todo el tubo, van amarrados, se agarran y se amarran. Entonces el de arriba los empieza a girar oh. y ellos se avientan de espaldas y entonces empiezan a girar, a girar, a girar va, y bajan. Oh, wow. Entonces, se avientan cada media hora hasta las seis de la tarde, o sea, cada media hora hasta la media, mm -hmm. se avientan, avientan, avientan hasta las seis de la tarde. Y ahorita todavía les falta 20 minutos. So... We are entering this museum full of pre-Hispanic cultural artifacts during the times when the Mayans were populating this part of Mexico that will be shown here at the National Anthropology Museum, which is Mexico City's most globally recognized vast and frequented museum with thousands upon thousands of annual visitors within the lust surroundings of Bolcan del Chapotepec which is a massive collection of artifacts that you should definitely check out and see for yourself as they contain historical significance on how Mexico was during this era of pre-Columbian heritage such as the Stone of the Sun or the Aztec Calendar Stone along with many other Mexican national and regional museums which is managed by the National Institute of Anthropology and History. It was one of several museums opened by the Mexican president in 1964 by Adolfo Lopez Mandel. Considering it a national treasure and a symbol of identity, the museum is the synthesis of an ideology, scientific, and political feat. Slightly more than half century since its creation, and a means for generations who seek their cultural roots. Also, its construction continues to impress those who visit it from all over the world. Promoting a connection between the building and the natural surroundings. Exhibition design of the new museum was planned to reflect the work and commitment in creating such a landmark in the country's identity. All of the exhibition halls require teamwork of writers, researchers, expedition designers, education experts, and technical personnel. As part of this endeavor, quotes and verses from diverse historical sources 
were added to synthesize and invoke the indigenous worldwide. The start of the collection dates back to 1790. In the years that followed, major pieces came to light. The monumental structure, the sunstone, and the head of the fire serpent. These finds fueled an increase in interest in knowledge and the desire to protect this cultural heritage and its meaning. Since the early 20th century, in the framework of the International Congress of Americanist Justo, Sierra expressed the commitment the Mexican government needed to make to create a new museum. Despite the number of attempts, this only materialized in the 1960s. Here, with its extensive collection of objects representative of significant features of the worldview and daily life of the indigenous people in contemporary Mexico. The first half of the century was reconstructed, which together with the specialized scientific broken up parts of the holdings of the natural museum among diverse ventures. The permanent exhibition on the ground floor covers all pre-Columbian civilizations located on the current territory of Mexico as well as in former Mexican territory in what is today the southwestern United States. They are classified as Northwest Mayan Gulf of Mexico where the permanent expeditions at the first floor show the culture of Native American population of Mexico since the Spanish colonization during that time. There are several rooms which have recreations of murals in the exhibition and the tombs of the Mayan rooms. This gives the chance to see the pieces in the context in which they were found. The museum has a large courtyard which is a nice place to sit when you want to take a break. The museum is big and the collection is extensive which I couldn't say enough of. So be sure to set aside enough time to do it justice as there is so much of it that unfortunately I never had the chance to actually go to the second floor as we were in a hurry during that time. There's about 4,000 years of historical significance from the most important museum here in Mexico. Located in the area between Paso de la Reforma and within Chapultepec Park in Mexico City as it was more than 50 years ago since it was made. There's about 80,000 square feet or more and has 23 separate expedition rooms which I haven't been to every single one unfortunately. From what we're seeing here there's a lot of pottery and pieces that dates as early as 5000 BC which is almost a while ago these pieces have been around for. Having to actually go to every place around here is going to take me a couple of days to actually see every single detail of this museum. Also, the amazing part of all this is learning just how advanced this civilization has been before any kind of contact from Asia or Europe, which is often forgotten or ignored or even overlooked for how spectacular the artwork is in these walls which gives them a voice to the many Mexican artists and their crafts guided by scientific studies. Different artists were commissioned to do the murals around many expeditions for both aesthetic and educational value which I should admit that they done a pretty decent work bringing them to life this way.
Now, the educational part's out of the way, and now I just wanted to talk about some stuff here, which I should say that this was done back in November, but due to some technical difficulties I was having at the time, and had to go straight to work right by the time I was working on this video, but more on that later. So yeah, let's say the one of the reasons that I was actually there was to originally visit some family that I've met for the first time and got to know them a little better. Started out with some of my cousins that I actually met not long ago and ended up staying at their place while we're at it. And it was actually their idea to take us to uh, this museum to check it out. And that's exactly what we did. But who knows what else is going to come out of this next. But all I can say is coming to this place feels like a, like a totally different world. I'm not sure how much I can emphasize that. And man, the fact that I'm related to some of these uh, people here really kind of shows how much history I truly don't know much about and how disconnected I was before but then I wouldn't have known about this if it wasn't for the fact that I got the plane tickets and decided to go to Mexico since there's family that I didn't know about at the time and that it was actually on my mom's side of the family that kind of reached out and had the idea of of meeting up for the first time and plus I could definitely use a vacation and that's exactly what I needed but that aside let's say there's going to be a lot more adventures after this whole thing just looking at all these uh, museum pieces reminds me a lot about the times when I was playing games like Shadow of the Tomb Raider and whatnot and I can see where some of these game developers got their ideas and inspiration from. And here I am physically witnessing the real deal with the only difference of me not actually going to an undiscovered location looking for these artifacts in which I am very very sure that there are still undiscovered pyramids scattered around Mexico and some of them are buried in what appears to look like hills and to believe that all this could have gotten lost if it wasn't for the preservation and probably would not know about all this or the existence of the indigenous people of the ancient world for all I know all these trips that I'm going to make is still not enough to actually know Mexico if you actually were to take the time to look at the map, you'd see that there's a lot of different places. As a matter of fact, there's so many different places that it's probably gonna take a good uh, half the year or so to actually visit every single one of them. So yeah, there's like so much that is overwhelming to think that there's probably a lot of stuff to look into. So I'm guessing this is probably going to take a very long time to really get to know Mexico. For all I know, most of what I'm witnessing here can probably be taught in schools in that country. At this point, I'm not sure what else to say, so I'm just going to leave you guys here to watch the rest of the, the video without me commentating over it. So. Here it is, the rest of it is all for those to see.
So far we've seen some very gruesome scenery about the sacrifices when I went to the basement to check out the tombs and whatnot. Although it's a recreation of what they would have done to the bodies. And we've also have seen what a typical structure would look like with all the detailing on some of these uh, tombs or at least that would be what they're trying to recreate in order to give the impression that this is what they l do or this is what they did and let's not forget the some of the murals inside these structures which I'm very sure they tell a tale of stuff that happened during that time. Definitely not the best of times, but you get the idea. Well, that being said, we're just gonna head out of the museum and I'll have to continue on to go to the next place in which that would be on a separate video where I'll go walk by a park in order to get to the castle. So that being said, this is Land Rider 7th moving towards the next chapter and logging out.